Anyway, uh, Donald Trump's having a total meltdown currently on True Social this morning. All these posts are just from the last few hours. I supported pipelines. Remember this. Again, back when fucking COVID was happening. Why does he say, remember this? Donald Trump retweeting Trump attorney Alina Habba shares filing update. FBI has advanced this fact even further. Trump won. Swamp Drainer. Just wait till you see what's next. Ultra MAGA. I don't work for you. Media, you're helping destroy America. Make America great again. God and country. Trump colluded with Russia. That was me. Trump kid kids in cages. That was me. Wait, but that was Trump too. Wait, what the fuck? If these guys doing it is bad, then why is it okay when Trump does it? Like the cognitive dissonance blows my fucking mind, dude. He's popping off, dude. Oh my God. He is blowing up. I wish he was on Twitter still. I wish he was on Twitter. Trump had quit pro quo in Ukraine. Ukraine. That was me. Trump obstructed an active investigation. That was us. <laughs> These boomer memes are so funny. Oh my God, he's posting so much. Every broken clock is right twice a day, Joe Biden's clock. Oh, he's trying to fuck. Look at that. Thank you. Much better than highly paid TV talent. Okay, Trump. I see what you're doing. Your enemy is not in Russia. Joe redacted has destroyed our country. President Trump will return in redacted and make America great redacted. That doesn't even make sense. Structurally, this makes no sense as a meme. Shifty is so bad for our country. A totally corrupt politician. So disrespectful, terrible. He's like a president, but for stupid people. Dude, what the fuck? Yo, he he took a Sudafed extra hard this morning. He just was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna come. Take back our country from those who hate it. No, ultra Republican is where we need to be win. Ultra MAGA. Did it? Why are people so mean? It's Joe Biden pooping himself. Not nice. Dude, these are these are great memes, man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my favorite president, for showing me my new favorite memes. Love that. Not nice. I'm giving you your country back from the criminal psychopaths who stole it from you, and half of you don't even know it yet. Woo! The party told you to reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. It was their final, most essential command, George Orwell. Wait, what? This is not even... This is anti... This is an anti-Trump meme. This is not a pro-Trump meme. This is an anti-Trump meme. Bro, conservatives actually do not understand, dude. They, they literally do not understand. It's democratic socialism now. His name is Mike Hunt. Why did he retweet this? Yeah, like my cunt. See you next Tuesday. My see you next Tuesday. It's got to be remarkably easy to get a Trump notice on Truth Social, though, because there's like 11 active users. Then again, you can't even be on it anymore. Apparently, Google Play just dropped it recently, so... Because they had no moderation whatsoever, which is kind of impressive when you think about it. Because uh, I think a lot of apps are on uh, 
Google Play. Like, but yeah, they unfortunately recently dropped it, so don't know, don't know what's going to happen there. Anyway, Trump is posting through it. He's posting through it, but uh, he's going through it. Ben Shapiro also had some choice words for Donald Trump. Um, uh, Trump's true social is facing significant financial difficulties, vendors say. Its web hosting company says it is owed $1.6 million and hasn't been paid for months. So there's that part of it, too. They don't, I mean, this is typical Trump. Um, there's that reality, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Part of the reason Trump has gotten uh, active is because he's the main reason anyone's on there. Context for Trump's outburst on Truth Social. In August 25th, SEC filing, Truth Social's holding company noted that the success of the business is dependent on Trump's reputation and popularity. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we knew that already. Yeah, of course. This is just for... This is no different than the Jeremy Renner app, but when Jeremy Renner made an app, everybody made fun of him. When Donald Trump makes an app, well, I guess people still make fun of him. You think dark beat dogs democracy speech on Thursday will be in front of Trump getting the hammer on Friday? Probably just hopium. No, I don't care about Brandon being live talking about gun control and like how he needs to suck off cops or something. Um, but yeah, tr true so truth social is fucking falling apart. However, Donald Trump is still flush. He's sitting on over $100 million and ex has extra personal cash on hand because the RNC is currently paying his legal bills. And RNC chief on tape is asking donors that they need help. They need help to win the Senate. And it's not looking too good, folks. It's not looking too good. Part of the reason why it's not looking too good is because they were too successful. And of course, people are going to have a genuine backlash towards that kind of like uh, irreparable harm you're causing to the American population. Uh, the other reason, the other reason is, of course, because they're putting up really bad candidates and and it's sloppy like they're putting up duds they're putting up loser candidates they are they allowed peter thiel to put not one but two candidates that won their primaries in the republican party are you fucking kidding me so now they're in this weird bind where it's like do we keep going do we lean into the fucking fascist shit or do we dial it back a little bit and i don't see a world in which they do dial it back I don't see a world in which they do dial it back because why the fuck would they dial it back? That's not what they do. They've always had their foot on the gas. I can't think of a time when they have dialed it back. <sighs> so we'll see. We'll see what happens. If they do dial it back, I don't even know if they can actually legitimately recover from that either because their most active uh, base members... Their most active base members are, unironically, those people who are going to fucking go to the QAnon rallies and shit. That $1 billion uh, dark money pack donation will probably go fast between all the grifting and crazy characters they run. Yeah. The House polling is still super favored for Republicans. Yes. Um, the, the House looks decent for Republicans, but that tide is shifting a little bit. And if that actually, if, if, they, if they don't even win the House, if, if Democrats maintain their majority in the House and they maintain their majority or even pick up more seats in the Senate, that's insane, okay? That's like, you know, unheard of and incredibly i mean contemporary in contemporary politics like that has not happened where such a deeply unpopular president has maintained control over the and joe biden is deeply unpopular maintain control over the house and senate like that's crazy shit okay that's wild shit
Joe Biden is unpopular copium. Wait, what? Brother, Joe Biden was so unpopular, he was less popular than Donald Trump. He was so unpopular, he was unpopular in his own fucking party and still is. At least Donald Trump always had, um, at least Donald Trump always maintained a certain percentage uh, in his approval rating because 90% of the Republican Party rode for him, okay? 90% of the Republican Party rode for Donald Trump. His approval rating barely dipped below 90%. Joe Biden's approval rating has definitely dipped way below 90%. GOP strategists were like, I guess the base will go for any fucking idiot around, but it turned out they only cared about a single idiot. Yeah. Because the uh, all these other people that are trying to be like Donald Trump don't have his charisma. And not only that, not only that, but even Ron DeSantis, who is like his main, you know, who is the main guy that has a shot at winning the primaries, even against Donald Trump, or certainly will be the the candidate if Donald Trump cannot run because of the classified document FBI uh, investigation that's happening currently. Okay. Even then, Ron DeSantis has no swag. He doesn't have the, the sass of Donald Trump. He doesn't, he's not authentically like a boring media machine. You know what I mean? He's Donald Trump being a uh, boring media machine 